I'm Malia. Um, I grew up claiming to be Christian when in reality I was just an average American Christian, going to church most Sundays, going to Easter service, saying I love Jesus. I even thought I had gotten saved at a VBS in 2018 because other kids in my um, class were talking about how amazing it was. Like many, I said an ABC prayer. Although I did the prayer, I didn't truly understand what any of it meant or the significance of it. When COVID hit, we stopped going back to church for a while. When we came back, I no longer had a desire for going to church, so I just stopped going. This led me to not believing in God anymore. I got upset with him because things weren't going the way I wanted them to go. I didn't understand why bad things happened if God still exists. In August of 2021, I got invited to youth. I was terrified, but I still went. I listened closely that night as Aaron went over a section of Hebrews. It felt as though God was with me for the first time in a long time. That night was when I realized the Lord hears every cry and every praise. He feels every ache you feel. When I went home that night, I felt a weight lifted off of me. I knew it was God's plan all along for me to go there that night. On April 17th, 2022, I truly gave my life to Jesus and repented and believed. I know I am saved because I have seen God change my desires. I now want to help others come to know Jesus. I want them to see how Jesus works in their lives once you open your heart to him and live for him rather than for yourself. Since my salvation, I want Jesus to be the first thing I think of when I wake up and the last thing on my mind before I go to bed. I finally realized I can't do life without Jesus because without Jesus, there would be no hope. And if I didn't have a hope, this life would already be, this life would be a lot harder than what it already is. By not being baptized, I'm living in sin. The next step in my salvation is to publicly declare my salvation. I now understand that when God is in your life, bad things don't stop, stop happening, but rather you have someone to go to when bad things happen. And Aliyah, I th I, uh, and just hearing your story, of, I, I just feel like I just got to believe that there are a lot of people that can, that can resonate with this story. You talked about just living the average so-called Christian life and just doing church and then going about your life. And, and, uh, and I, just, I just believe that that's a lot of people. I just believe that a lot of people have the assumption that they're good because I don't, hey, I'm not an atheist. Um, I go to church, and, and yet there was a moment when God used that, God, that in your life where he woke you up out of that and said, hey, this is, this is, what, this is what it means to be a follower of Jesus. This is what it means to be, what salvation means. And, uh, and I thank God for that. I'm thankful for what he's doing in your life. So, Leah, have you received Jesus as your Savior, the one who died in your place for your sin? Yes. And you, have you received Jesus as your King, the risen King, who is the one that is the worthy one to lead your life the way life was meant to be lived? Yes. And have you received Jesus as your treasure, the one who is worthy of giving up your whole life for? Yes. And so it's, Leah, based upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, your King, and your treasure. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit.